This is an incredibly unusual project. Uh, mm -hmm. How did you feel when you were first approached? I, I felt that I was being played, you know, by someone. I was like, no, this can't be true, you know. This, this is something that is never going to happen. Come on. And then I read the script, and it was, like, so unique and perfect, but also risky. And uh, I guess it was when I sat down in front of Will and Matt Pitmonton, who's the director, and Andrew Steele, who's the writer and producer, that I... I, I I started believing it was gonna happen, you know, because it is, yeah, as you said, so special, unique. Uh, I don't know if there's ever gonna be another film like this, you know. <laughs> Not anytime soon. No, I don't sure. think so. Uh, is the key to playing your character in a comedic setting? Do you play it sort of over the top, or do you play it just straight? The thing is, I I believe, and. Uh, this is something I just realized, I guess, when, when I started doing interviews about, but that there's another character behind my character. You know, I, I, you know the, the character is called Raul Alvarez, but behind Raul Alvarez, there is a terrible actor <laughs> portraying this character. And that is the character I, I, I enjoy playing, you know? An actor that was allowed to be bad and, uh, and make the worst choices, the most stupid ones. And uh, because it allowed me to laugh about myself, but my colleagues, and, uh, and, and use a lot of the material that has happened in my life, you know, <laughs> that suddenly I, I could use it for a film, you know. And really, believe, you're allowed to be terrible. You're allowed to do the worst decisions ever. You're allowed to, 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 to yeah, to take it very intensely, you know. Every moment should be intense and your character, uh, like stuff like the smoking, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I could imagine an actor saying, oh, there's no, nothing more cool than watching, you know, someone smoking on frame and then choosing to smoke in every take, every moment. And that's the kind of actor I'm portraying here. Uh, that must have been the challenge, I mean, all the smoking. That... Well, yeah, that was a great choice the first two days, and then I realized the most stupid decision ever, <laughs> you know, but I had to stick with it. Or you're committed. Right? Yeah. It must have been strange, though, to sort of have to go almost against your instincts as an actor. To, to <laughs> yeah. the exact opposite of what you think you normally should do. Yeah, but that was the point. That was what, what made it so much fun, you know? Because uh, if I was doing something where I was feeling comfortable, then it was wrong. You know, I had to change. And, uh, and, <laughs> and uh, Matt said to me, the director, Man, you, please try every, everything that crosses your mind. Try it, you know? Go for it. I'll tell you when you... When, it, when you went too far, you know, I'll, I'll say, no, no, please. And he never stopped me. So I really felt free, you know, I was just enjoying it. And, uh, and uh, I, I, I kind of, I felt something I never felt before, you know, which was this complete freedom of being stupid, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's a great freedom to have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your character has a really great look, really distinctive look. Was there a specific inspiration for that? Yeah, and, uh, many. Uh, but yeah, the real guys, many of the real guys, you know, and uh, and we talked about yeah the the, the uh, this idea of a guy that is trying very hard to look like a businessman, you know, but it just like you see in him and say no, no, really you're trying hard, but no, you can never be a business guy. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a character I think we. And when I say we, I'm talking about the director and myself, we know, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's based on real guys and pictures we saw. And uh, But then we were allowed to take it a step further, you know, because, again, it's not me. It's a terrible actor making the choice of going for that, you know. And, uh, and then, obviously, easily you fall into the cliche. But uh, that's the point here, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, great job, man. Thank you.